Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 46. I'm Sunshine. And I'm Captain, and we're still walking. And we're still talking. Did you guys miss us talking yesterday? We missed you, but we hope you enjoyed it tremendously. Um, today we're shooting on the iPhone because we had to mail our SD card to Will because we were not so many weeks behind. He needed footage to edit videos. Um, we hope it isn't an inconvenience. Uh, there's some kind of shots we won't be able to do, but we'll make up for it in good times with you guys. Uh, we are going, how many miles are we going today? We're going 15 miles today to Carver Gap. Iron Mountain to Carver Gap. We are on day four of slack packing of our five days that we plan to slack pack. And I'll tell you kind of more details a little bit later about why we're doing the slack packing. So let's get rolling. So last night was the first time we slept in a bunkhouse of more than four people. Um, what'd you think of it? Honestly, I didn't have that bad of an experience. The beds were comfortable. It wasn't too hot. I mean, it went pretty well. Everyone that we slept with, was there was a full house, was really fun and kind and from all over the place. Um, some mostly nobos, a couple sobos. We'll share some footage of um, the hostel, it's a refuge hostel. Uh, when we get back tonight, it was fully stocked with everything we needed, showers, laundry. Um, I slept relatively well. Um, you know, I don't always sleep great anyway, so it has nothing to do with where we are or who we're with. And yeah, it was fun. I mean, yeah, I think absolutely. We'll definitely do it again. We haven't done it up to this point because whenever we get off the trail, it's like an emergency situation because of bad weather and we take whatever's there or is for work and school and with work and school we couldn't have been in a bunkhouse for, with eight people because we're doing calls he's on his D&D stuff and it would be really destru disruptive to everyone's peaceful enjoyment if you know what I mean So there's been some questions about why we're slack packing um, just from people on the trail. And I know you guys are going to have it too when you see that we're on our fourth day of slack packing. Um, the reason is that we spent 20 days off the trail and to get our body conditioned, it's not fully unconditioned, but to gain back what we lost during that time off the trail when we were working and taking exams and schooling, um, we have two choices. We do less miles and kind of start from step one, or we go from where we are, we lighten our packs a bit and let our bodies transition and acclimate back to the trail. And so I don't mind slack packing here and there. I don't love doing it for five days. Um, we've been at the mercy of the fabulous shuttle drivers who are amazing, um, but they're busy. So we have to get on the trail when they can get us on the trail, which has had us starting later and not meeting our miles certain days. However, I think that, Captain, I agree, this is the best way to prevent injury since we've been off the trail for so long. Um, you know, it's fun to slack pack once in a while. I think total on the whole trail of our, 40, of our 46 days, we slack packed two days, two separate days, not back to back before we got off the trail. And now we're on our fourth day of slack packing and we'll slack pack another day tomorrow. And then for those of you who don't know what slack packing is, I'm carrying a smaller bag here. You carry a smaller bag with less stuff just for the day and then you sleep. We're sleeping in a hostel um, tonight with a bunch of other people and someone drops you off at the trail and then you hike into the hostel or they pick you up at a different spot on the trail. And Captain has chosen to take his regular backpack because he said it's more comfortable and then he just left half of his stuff at the hostel and only took what he needed for the day. So it's not, there are various reasons why people will slack pack. Maybe they have an injury. Uh, maybe they're just tired. Um, sometimes people do it for a week or so to keep the weight on them if they're losing weight. I mean, you have to do it for obviously more than a day, you know, to, to kind of see its benefits. Um, but for us, we felt like five days would be a good amount of days for us to slack pack to kind of transition us back into the trail. So if you have any other questions about that, drop it in the comments, but hopefully that clears up why we're slack packing and sleeping in hostels five nights, four nights, and five days.
captain is right over there. It's a kind of a half circle. <laughs> I just told him to keep waving. So today we shared a shuttle back to the trail because it was pretty far from where we were staying with, I forget their trail names. Um, I'll circle back, Flintstone and not, shoot, I forgot. Um, a really co fun couple lives in New Jersey, originally from Russia and Czech. And we're trying to speed it up a bit because this is a tough climb today and they're faster than us. So we don't want them waiting at the other end where we're getting picked up for too long. Um, already, I think they're gonna be waiting like a half an hour. So we may be doing a lot of shooting from today back at the hostel, or maybe a short vlog because we don't wanna keep them waiting for too long. So send us positive vibes to get there fast. Wow. Oh, look at those dark clouds right above us. It looks beautiful in the video, but I think some rain is a coming. No kidding. Whoa. So what's the deal? So the deal is it's 2.4 miles down and then it's another 4.4 up. And okay. then after that, it's downhill for the rest of the day. Okay. And I have a suspect we're going to be doing that in rain, but we're tough rain people, right? Sure. <laughs> Guess what, guys? <laughs> I think it was a, I don't know, 20, 30, 40% chance of rain. And that dark sky that I showed you, we had like a minute. I went to take a poo and psh, the sky opened up and now it's pouring. <laughs> By the way, rain gear, eh, I mean, it's good to have it, but it doesn't, you know, within, I don't know, a short period of time, you're wet anyway. So, I mean, I still like having it because it doesn't make you as cold, but when it's downpouring, it's really hard for it to not eventually kind of seep in and you to get all wet. It is actually, it is actually beautiful out here. Um, hopefully when we get to the top of the mountain, we, it, it clears, because I want you guys to be able to see the view. It's supposed to be amazing, but we will see. Let's listen to the sounds of the rain today. All right, guys, it's favor time. Are you enjoying our vlogs? If so, can you hit that red button and subscribe? Leave us a comment, share us with your friends. It really helps out and it helps with the algorithm for our content to be shared with more people that might find value in it. So thank you so much for being here. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Um, yeah, so if you could give us a subscribe, a thumbs up, a comment, or tell a friend, we would greatly appreciate it. I know before you said that the cold was your least favorite. Is your, the cold still your least favorite or has it become the rain? It's the rain. It's the rain now? Because yeah. you know the cold can't get you now. Yeah. <laughs> I think the cold is still my least favorite. I can deal with the rain. It's not so cold out anymore. If it was raining and cold, like that time when we came through Neil's Gap and we thought we would die, that's a different story. So I was looking at myself shooting today and I thought, you know what? I'm getting buff. Look, right? I'm getting buff. <laughs> I don't know this. Oh, I think you can see up my shorts when I do that. <sighs> Almost to the top of Roan Mountain. There is a whole history up there, which I hope there's a plaque or something to talk more about it because I don't know a lot, um, but it's interesting. It's only rained a little bit. We are having a great day. 
I'm not feeling like I have a lot to say today. I know you guys probably think I have something to say all the time, but I'm just feeling like, hmm, I don't have a lot to share today. And I asked Captain, I said, do you have anything to share today? He goes, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> As I dig peanuts out of my teeth. So, um, there was, wow, look at my hair today. It looks like I'm like, what is that? I guess it's the humidity. Holy mackerel. You guys got to tell me what my hair looks like this. All right. Um, someone asked us, like, what's the premise behind the name World Towning? And so I'm going to share that with you now. It actually, the name was not created because of the YouTube channel. The name was something we started with our business when we first, um, when we first developed our business. And we... We were doing, um, we were, oh my gosh, I got to stop because I can't seem to talk and think at the same time. Um, I mean, walk, <laughs> holy crap, walk and think. Um, excuse me, the idea behind the name is that we're traveling around the world and we're creating mini hometowns around the world. So we have that community feel in local communities. Um, that's not with expat communities and people just us like us. That's with the locals who were born and raised in the country. So we called it world towning instead of like hometown, we call it world town and then um, making it an action serving because we're moving, we added the ING, so world towning. Um, and it's just kind of stuck with us with our business. Our business kind of ebbed and flowed over the years, but the basic premise has always been you know, learning about other cultures, whether we're taking people on group trips or helping someone figure out the logistics with the coaching, um, with our coaching clients because they want to move to another country or if it's vlogging and showing people that aren't either can't travel or don't want to travel, but want to learn about the world and the people in the world. And it just seemed really to fit really well. So that is the kind of the story behind the name. I think I kind of didn't tell it so eloquently. But if you sit me down and give me a shower, give me a cup of tea, I can talk your ear off. But going up a mountain, <laughs> it's a little difficult. So this is, it's hard to see with the foam, but this is um, pretty rocky and pretty steep. I mean, we've seen worse, um, but it's also really, really beautiful. It's cool up here, which feels great. the Cloudland Hotel site. Let's go check it out, guys. I guess this was the site of the hotel. I'm gonna walk around, see if I can see anything else. So apparently this is where it was. It's beautiful and peaceful up here. I wish it was still here. I'd stay here tonight. So what I'm reading here is that it was built in 1884, three-story resort and catered to both the pleasure seekers and the sufferers of hay fever and allergies. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks beautiful. It's on the Tennessee and North Carolina state line. It was 20 years of serving guests, the hotel, after 20 years of serving guests, the hotel shut down about 1914. The whole hotel was dismantled and its fine furniture scattered across Tennessee and North Carolina. When this photo was taken in 1927, only the foundation remained. In order to get to the Cloudland Hotel, you had to take the narrow gauge railroad to Mount to Roan Mountain Station in Tennessee, where an inn provided an overnight stay, and then guests rode by carriage for 12 dusty miles on the newly constructed Carver's Gap Road. Wow. I bet it was beautiful. Beautiful. Huh. Well, hotel. May you rest in peace. I think someone should come up here and rebuild this thing. All right, guys, we hit the top, but now we're cranking to get down because our shuttle buddies are, I think they're about 45 minutes ahead of us, which isn't too bad. I thought we were going a lot slower. So we're gonna not talk to you until we get to the bottom and celebrate and boogie down. Bye.
one package from Will, which is the SD card, and I know that's in here, but I don't know what these other two are. I hope it's cheese. Frog vlogs? What is that? I hope they didn't send us something to carry. Oh, the cooling towels. Oh my gosh, I didn't need them right now. <laughs> but that's okay. Thank you, honey. They're small enough, and you never know, we might have a hot day. Okay, so I think this one has the cheese. I'm wishful thinking. I'm trying to manifest it. Come on, this, this has got to be cheese. Feels like cheese. Now well, it's the same thing. One for you. Well, I guess. Do you want pink or blue? I don't know. He went very boys, girl specific, huh? That's no not like kidding. That. <laughs> and then we have the final, last but not least. Oh, the boring SD card. Oh. That's the most exciting part of this. <laughs> it is because we can we can vlog now. <laughs> How do I open this thing? I have no idea. So here's the refuge. Hostel from the outside. We've so enjoyed our stay here. The hospitality has been amazing. And I think these might be my actual favorite pole racks so far. So here are our sleeping accommodations. Captain sleeps up there. Ooh. And I sleep over here on the top bunk. And then it goes around to a circle like this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then the bathroom's over here. The kitchen is to the left. And then we've got the living space here, the TV, and outside. And then we come out here to this absolutely cute porch. Uh-oh, I can't open the door. Oh, there we go. And this is Refuge Hostel, and they built this all by hand. Isn't this lovely? They live up above. Look at this, guys. It's magical, right? Hello, everyone. We It's the end of day 46. We went um, from Iron Mountain to Carver's Gap. We went 16.1 miles. What does that mean for the deficit? That means the deficit was at negative 23 yesterday. Now that we've gone less than one, <laughs> one mile below the 17 mile mark, we are now at negative 24. Okay. But we have a plan to make those back, not tomorrow, but the next day. So not Eventually. all of them, but we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Okay. Best and worst. Um, I think my best is, can you hear in the background all the people chatting? We are at a really, uh, we're really have a really fun group of people here at our hostel. And they're just a lot of fun and joke a lot and just really kind also. So I, that's probably my best. Yeah. And I'd honestly say my best was just kind of hiking today. It wasn't that bad. There was a big up and a big down and it was kind of very well. And we did it well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we did a good job. 16.1 miles and I think it took us about seven? About eight hours? less than eight that. Hours? They picked us up around five. And, we and they dropped us up around 8.30. Okay, so, so six, seven, eight, eight and a half hours. Around there. Yeah, eight and a half hours, which I think was pretty good. I don't think we've done 16.1, point one, don't forget that point one, Ooh. that quickly before. Um, And we're sitting out on the porch, it's so nice. Worse, do you have a worse? I honestly wouldn't say I have a worse. It all went really smoothly, and yeah. yeah, I got enough time to talk with everybody. And yeah, yeah I think you it caught up well. with your sister today. Yeah, I got to talk with Will. Yay for uh, quite a bit of time. Yeah, it was it was a really great day today. It was a great day. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow Good on night. day forty-seven. Hey, if you're sitting in your office today wondering, I wonder what's going on on the trail today. That must be having so much fun. This is reality today, guys. We're hiking in the rain. We don't mind it, but uh, I wouldn't say it was type one fun. Might not even be type two fun. Might be type three where I say, eh, I didn't miss this day. <laughs> well, well, well. Someone beat someone. Pure coincidence. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. Did walking. someone get lost who never gets lost? You guys, I got to the bottom and Lago was not, the captain was not there. These other two lovely people were not here as well. And I was like, what happened? I passed everyone. But Lago got lost. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, Captain. I gotta call you Captain. Keep making the mistake. It's hard. You've been this name for 16 years. Now everyone wants me to change it.